Hello everyone, Turiosaurus here. Hope you're all having a great day. I sure am doing swell. Uh, we are here in Minecraft Survival. Doing some stuff. Yeah. Sounds exciting, isn't it? Totally. Uh, so for today, I figured we'd do something kind of fun. A little different. Something we haven't done in the past very often. Um, well, at all, really. We've talked about it, but I haven't ever started. I think today we're going to start building a greenhouse. So it's going to be pretty simple. We're going to come in. This will actually be the door. And I think I want space around it, so all these are, are wasted. But hey, this is all experimental. I actually had a plan for these things. Unfortunately... <clears throat> My world that I had built this in in creative kind of got corrupted a little bit. So, yeah. Uh, that was great. Uh, the wheat one, we don't care about the wheat one. I'm not building a greenhouse around it. Because I will eventually destroy it and move it elsewhere. I just despise that wheat farm. I don't know why. Well, this is a problem. We're going to have to destroy this tree. That's okay. But yeah, so we're going to do some building this episode. I thought about just working on the um, monster spawner thing that I'm doing. But I don't know. It feels like all we've been doing lately is like working on that monster spawner and mining. And working on the monster spawner and mining. And like I'm okay with that because it's stuff that I need to get done. But I feel like you guys might be getting bored with that. So I thought I'd do something a little different, a little more fun. You guys could see how terrible I am at building. Uh, or rather, experience it more. Eh? You have seen Frankentower. But yeah, you know. Just doing some stuff. Doing some stuff and needs to get done anyway. So, you know, that's how we're going to do. That's how we're going to do. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I'm really into the whole voice thing today. So, sorry if that bothers anyone. Yeah, we're going to go around here, building up the walls. Yep. Holding down the shift so I don't fall makes it so much easier to build with these glass panes. Just got to watch it on the corner so I don't misplace these. I don't think we're going to have nearly enough to finish this greenhouse. But... Hey, progress is progress, okay? And progress is all that we care about. There we go. Place these down. Break that. Alright, we're just going to keep going around. So we've met up with the other side. Then we can start working on the doorway. Yeah. <laughs> Stinking trees everywhere. Blah! It's annoying me. Why is there so many trees? Gosh. Dang it. I'm pretty sure I broke the wrong block, too. There. Yeah. That's not bad. That's a good start. It's starting to become nighttime, so we're going to hop on in here. And I can only sleep at night. Well, that's what I say to that. I say, yeah. All right, what do we got here? We got... Oh, that's right. Bane of arthropods. Yay! I can kill spiders easier. Alright, let's do <clears throat> something something else that's fun. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Got a lot of cobblestone. <clears throat> a lot of rotten flesh. Hmm. 
I don't know. I do a redstone project, but I don't really know anything for redstone. It's single player, so there's no point in me making a trap or anything like that. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I did just murder a bunch of my cows. So I suppose farming is something worthwhile to do. Yes. Yes. Ooh, game coming out, um, hopefully, uh, more towards, like, second half of this year that I'm pretty excited for. It's called, uh, Stardew Valley. Oh, that might sound really weird to you guys, and to be fair, it's fairly weird. Um, but basically, Stardew Valley is, uh, Harvest Moon. If anyone knows what that is, then good on ya. And if you don't, look it up. Now, Harvest Moon is, is a great game. It uh, was a huge part of my childhood, actually. And basically, it's a farming sim uh, in a third-person adventure game kind of feel. A uh, couple fantasy aspects to it, such as like harvest sprites that you can befriend and have them help you out. Uh, but basically, uh, Natsume, I I'm pretty sure they're still the company that makes the game, uh, have pretty much outright said that it will never be a PC game. And that sucks, because it's the perfect kind of game for the casual PC gamer. Kind of like myself. I have some casual tendencies, and then at the same time, I just want to dominate everything. Such as um, Dark Souls. I really want to play that. And if anyone knows what that game is, you know that that may well be the hardest game on the planet as far as I'm concerned it, it's extremely difficult but I want to play it just so I can be like boom Dark Souls baby that and that whole like uh, hack and slash or new loot crazy monster killer game it, it's awesome it reminds me a lot of a more modern graphic uh, Rune Rune was a game by Human Head Studios which I just adored I played the holiness out of that game and actually my first uh, online alias came from that game um, I used to be called uh, Odinmon really simple and back in the day that was not taken anywhere and in fact it's still fairly rarely taken uh, but basically the whole rune game was based around Nordic mythology you know Odin, Thor, all that all that stuff. So I was uh, Odin Mon because obviously the name Odin was taken. However, surprisingly, just adding M O N to the end, it was not. Um, yeah, and then uh, I stuck with it because in just about every game I ever tried to play, it wasn't taken, which seemed really crazy to me because you know Odin, you just add a little M O N on the end, whatever. I figured someone would have thought of it, but no. And so I did that in um, Rune first. Did a lot of online play with that. I like the uh, low gravity matches. Very similar to low gravity chivalry, if anyone plays that. Um, and just the whole game was great. I played that a ton. Um, it was also very populated by Korean gamers. Uh, which means that multiplayer was really difficult because those guys played all the time. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> so I played that, and thus I became Odinmon in, in that scheme, and then I started playing RuneScape a lot because that was online, and it was something that I could uh, play with my friends. However, it didn't really require much out of my computer because my computer at the time, not the best. Not the worst, mind you, but not the best. And I'm full up on food. Don't know why I grabbed that. Oh, I can consolidate this. Um, what can I do right now? You know, let's enchant some books. Why not? But yeah, so I became on one there and then I started using it in uh, RuneScape, especially a game like that. There was no way that you could possibly have an original name, but I did because I thought of some weird name that no one likes apparently which was great as far as I'm concerned here we'll start 
storing stuff up here. Yeah. Weapon enchantments, armor enchantments. There we go. Yeah. So then I was uh, fairly well known across my servers and all that. Uh, ran with a pretty big clan in RuneScape and did all that fun stuff. Um, kind of earned a name for myself because I was one of the few people who actually helped out beginning players as a uh, higher level character, something like, I don't know, 60 or 70, something like that. It's hard to say. I played a lot for a long time. And then I kind of stepped away from that because I got World of Warcraft. I um, don't know if I've talked about this, but uh, no, yes, I have. I talked about it a little bit in my Lord of the Rings Online video. I used to play World of Warcraft a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Um... For no good reason, aside from the fact that my friends played it, and at the time, it was a fantastic game. In fact, it's still very, very good. Uh, don't get me wrong there. I definitely like World of Warcraft. However, in the current MMO market, I don't feel like you should have to pay 15 bucks a month to play the game anymore. It's not that good. But, you know... Blizzard will do what it wants. It's a rather large company. And then, um, yeah. And then after I was Odinmon for a while on World of Warcraft, that's when I began my uh, Dances with Wolves alias. That was pretty much just the one character. I didn't really use it anywhere else. But I was, uh, I don't know, very well known across the, um, Smolderthorn, I think was my first server. I'm not sure. And then I transferred servers um, to, I don't really know which server it was. My friend did the transfer for me because he was on that. And then, um, funnily enough, I was actually part of the um, Ye old Goon Squad guild for about two months. Uh, but basically, they're just too hardcore for me because I've always been more of a mellow, do my own thing. So I left so that they could free up the um, guild space. But uh, for you who don't know, Yield Goon Squad is uh, Yogs, and that's actually where the Yogs cast started. So I may have at one point in time actually seen uh, either Lewis or Simon or or someone who played on that server uh, in World of Warcraft, which is kind of cool, I guess. They're relatively famous people. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, famous relatively because they're YouTube fame. The only people who really know about them are uh, Minecraft watchers for YouTube, which is a large community, but they're not, generally speaking, going to be walking down the streets of Bristol running into 18,000 people who know them. You know, they're not some famous person. I don't know. Who's a famous person from England? Is Daniel Craig from England? I don't even know. But, yeah. I can't think of anything to do, so I'm just kind of rambling at you guys. Um, I can shear my sheep. That's something that I can do. Yeah. Hopefully next time I will have this more well planned out. Uh, I gotta apologize for the unorganization of this um, series. I just, I can't for the life of me figure out what to do. Uh, to be fair, I've never really played survival to play survival. I always, always mod games like this. Um, because that's just how I am. I mean, Skyrim is huge, huge game. Um... And I still add stuff to that. Like, I, I love to mod Skyrim. But I don't need to. There's plenty to do in Skyrim. And that's even a linear game where it kind of, well, it's open world linear. You can choose your line, but you do follow one. Um, but even in a game like that where it's all crazy, like, oh, you can do this, follow this quest line. Even then, I add randomness to it. And so it, it's easier to follow a, a storyline there here in minecraft it's like sandbox that's what this type of game is it's a sandbox game um but it's like 
first person adventure sandbox i guess you could say and i cannot think of anything to do it kind of saddens me actually because i have a pretty vivid imagination and i should be able to do something i'm just so out of ideas on what that could possibly be um so you guys might actually be able to help me out with this because as of right now I've kind of set goals for myself right I can finish this I just need more glass basically um, that's it for that I can finish that and so I just need a wholly ungodly amount of cobblestone which means a lot of time down in the mines kind of boring for you guys I've got the farm going um, I'm probably actually gonna change my skin at some point just so you guys know, uh, the skin is too complicated, and I'm thinking about making one that's more to my actual personality as opposed to a theme. So I came up with this skin originally because I was playing Tekkit a lot, and I specialized in Equivalent Exchange. I think you guys all know that I love that mod. It is amazing, and I've always had an attunement in games like this when I mod something to kind of move into magic a little bit. Well that's all well and good however I'm not really doing much magic here you know in Skyrim I'm an archer I don't really do the magic thing because I can't aim the spells basically although I do have Midas magic as a mod installed in Skyrim and it's great so we may start delving into that just just a little bit um, but yeah this is vanilla Minecraft there's no magic in this that I can do, or at least not really. I can enchant stuff, but ooh, enchanting. Ooh. Basically, uh, not great there. And really, the whole magic thing was just because I was doing Tech It, it Equivalent Exchange. That was all I did. And uh, I thought about making videos on that, but then I actually got really interested in Volts, so I made the Volts videos. And then, um, Volts, it, it, it was weird. Volts has all these glitches, and it's changing so much so quickly. It's It was something I didn't really want to follow anymore, so I stopped that. And now I'm on Feed the Beast, and Feed the Beast has Thalmcraft, which is amazing. Um, I don't know, I just don't really feel like my guy is, oops is a, a Thalmcraft guy. You know, I've got the, the Demon Hunter's Axe on my back. I've got the T for Turiosaurus. I've got the, like, iron-supported shoulder pads. I don't even know what that was. I've got the sash across my front to hold on the, uh, the mini axe thing. I've got, like, the green flames with purple accents. The purple was actually um, significant because it was for... Uh, Yogg's Cast Rhythian. Uh, I really like that guy. He's really cool. And he was um, kind of the person who got me really interested in doing um, Ticket in the first place. And I ended up loving it. So when I was coming up with my skin, I was like, oh, I'll do a little attribute thing to him. And I did. And, you know, it's cool. I like having the purple on there. It's a pretty shade, I guess. But... I don't know. I'm just not happy with him. I don't know what it is about it. I just do not like this skin. So I'll make something else at some point. And uh, maybe at that point is when I can really start to uh, think about building that gigantic statue of me. And I think I'm going to build that gigantic statue like up on a hill over here maybe. Back over here this way up on top of the hill I could even build it up there but I feel like I'd reach my monster spawner and I don't want that but yeah I will find a big hill someplace essentially maybe up there that way we can walk out of Franken Tower in the morning look off to our left and see a massive Turiosaurus sculpture sitting right there that could be good actually I think up there is where we'll put the statue when we get there but I just, I don't think that we can accurately build this statue with this skin. And I want to change it to something more, I don't know, I guess 
outdoors adventurous to begin with. But yeah, I've actually tried to build this as a uh, as a model for for a huge statue, and it just it didn't work. It didn't work at all. I tried, and it did not look like me. But um, yeah, so I think I've rambled on for long enough. Really, um, haven't gotten too much done today. Um, but we got a little bit. You know, we bred some cows. Breeding cows is always good. Grew out the uh, potatoes and carrots a little bit. Started guarding them underneath this beautiful greenhouse that we're building. Sheared the sheep, who are pretty much all ready to be sheared again. Um, built our giant cocoa totem back up. Made it bigger. Um, say hello to these guys, I guess. These are um, a chew and badass. Badass. My my apologies. No, it's not a chew. It's chum, chum and badass. That's right. That's right. I remember. I got it written down in case I forget. So that's fine. We need to go on some adventures with these guys. I feel like at some point I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna build up some XP. I'm gonna deck myself out in in brand new armor and reenchant that. And I'm gonna grab a bow and we're gonna take the dogs. And we're going to go, I don't know, camping or something. I'll, I'll think of something. Um, but yeah, please leave a suggestion down below as for what you want me to do in the meantime for survival. Because I can spend, you know, 18 episodes in a row down in the mines. That's fine. Uh, I'll be getting work done. And I'm sure I'll enjoy myself enough because I'll be finding diamonds everywhere. Um, I just don't feel like you guys would really enjoy that. So, you know, please, down in the comment section, leave something for me to do. Um, whether it's add a mod or two so that this is more interesting and there's like a linear, hey, get to this point and you're done sort of thing. Or whether it's make this into more of a building series since I kind of have a survival feed the beast. And I'll go creative mode and just make like a huge kingdom that's awesome. You know, if you guys want that, that could be a thing. Um, I'm just out of ideas, guys. I, I have no clue. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, please help me out down below. Uh, if you did enjoy the video or if you just want to support me as, as a YouTube hobby guy, I don't know what to call myself. But if you want to support me, then you can also leave a like on the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this to some extent. I guess we will see you next time.